Sky, the specialists, and Nabu have come to Gardenia to protect their girlfriends. Since the Winks didn't ask for help, this puts their trust to the test. In order to get rid of the Winks, Ogron transforms the pets into frightful monsters. Meanwhile, they come closer and closer to finding the last Earth Fairy. In a few minutes, there'd be no food left. <sighs> hmm? What a mess. I can't believe we have so much left to unpack. Just looking at these boxes, I can't take it. Well, eat something. You're gonna need the energy. <sighs> we got stuff to do. Or did you forget already? Huh? What kind of stuff? Today's the big cleanup day. Walls to clean, furniture to move, windows to wash. Huh? Our boyfriends are coming over, Stella, and by this evening, everything has to be spotless. Uh, they'll be so impressed, they'll be speechless. Well, I hope they won't be completely speechless. We need to talk. The past few days, we've been arguing a lot. And tonight's our chance to straighten things out. Well, I have nothing to straighten out with Brandon. I saw him, and he was kissing that girl. There are certain things Thank I can't you. forgive but I'll still help clean up. What better way to spend a Sunday than cleaning up with my best friends? That's the Stella we know and love. <laughs> that means I can run up on the calories. Some coffee to wake you up? With three spoons of sugar. Catch! <laughs> oh. Coffee Musa? Boy, that book on fairies really got to you. The Believix section is incredible. A fairy can only reach this level when people truly start believing in magic. Going from Enchantix to Believix would be nice. I can't find the new powers, but it says here that a Believix fairy can choose from three different sets of wings. And do they have evening wings? They could come in handy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Excuse me, guys. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have the time? I was supposed to hook up with a couple of buddies, but they haven't shown up yet. I just hope they didn't run into any trouble. Ha ha ha. Brandon, you're a riot. Oh, wow. It's you guys. I didn't recognize you with your new haircuts. Well, I guess the barbers here aren't great. You should check it out yourself. Maybe then you'd have girls checking you out like me and Helia. You want to tell them or should I do it? Gentlemen, we've got a job. That's right, pizza delivery boys. I know it's not that prestigious, your highness, but it should pay us enough to make the rent. We won't use scooters. We've got our boards. What could be better to zip through the streets of Gardenia without attracting attention? Definitely not that piece of junk Sky bought. Ah, uh, come on. It's not that bad, especially if Naboo works his magic on it. Whoa, even magic has limits. Yeah, I wonder if Naboo can do something to help me. I gotta get rid of Mitzi. She hasn't left me alone for a minute since she kissed me. She follows me everywhere. It's like having another shadow. Every time I turn around, she's there. I don't want to hurt her feelings, but I don't want to lead her on either. And Stella's the only girl I love. And I'm getting the feeling that I'm losing her. Relax, Brandon. They're girls. 
By next week, Mitzi won't even give you the time of day, and then you'll be back with Stella. You sure? Of course I'm sure. Seriously, Brandon, you worry too much. You know I'm right. I'm always right. What's with that guy? I'm pretty, I'm funny, I'm smart. What more does he want? Hmm? What does Stella have that I don't have? I think I may just keep an eye on Bloom and her friends for a while. That way I can find out what Stella's secret is. If she can make Brandon fall for her, then so can I. Are we ready, girls? Negative. Aren't we missing something? You mean these? It just doesn't make sense. I mean, if we can use magic to make brushes and rollers appear, then why don't we use magic to change the colors of the walls? Because this way, it's a lot more fun. In the meantime, think about furniture. I want a big red armchair in my room. Actually, no. I think pink would be better. Easy, Stella. First you paint a room, then you furnish it. Let's do it, then. Wings, there's a magical light in your eyes. You're a wings. If I look in my heart, I want to be forever wings. Every day there's a part in the world of wings. Love, mm -hmm. like stars, we will oh. shine. Maybe it's not them. What? Huh? Oh! Hmm. We have nothing to hide. Huh? It's looking good. Uh, thanks. It's still a work in progress, though. Well, what do you think so far? Looks like you're making this an awesome apartment. Uh, uh, uh. That looks heavy. Let me give you a hand. Hmm. <laughs> well, we just stopped by to say hi, but from the looks of it, well, I think you might need a hand. Yes, uh, we're exhausted. Painting walls isn't that hard. Where's the paint? Watch, I'll show you. Uh, your ex isn't bad at all. He still seems totally into you. <laughs> Oh, uh, you think? Don't worry, I won't tell Sky. <laughs> Aren't they all so cute? <laughs> what a lovely photo opportunity. Well, well. Someone will love this shot. I could take pictures all day, but I've got an important call to make. I think it's looking great, right? Well, I like what I see so far. Well, thank you, but what do you think of the apartment? Hey, how about a break? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh man. Sorry, Bloom. Don't worry. You can deal with your shirt. But let me at least wipe your face. I see you girls are in good hands. Huh? Sorry to barge in, but uh, you left the door wide open. Hey, this is great. Why don't you guys pick up a brush? The girls could use a hand. Uh, they were passing by and were kind enough to drop in. <laughs> it was so nice of them to help us. We've been working so hard. We thought we'd spend the evening together. But since you're all so exhausted, we'll let you rest. Well, we were just leaving. Listen, we're playing at the Fruity Music Bar tonight. It'd be great if you came. Oh, sure, uh, of course. Thanks for the invitation. You guys are welcome to come too, you know. We've already seen you play. We weren't expecting you so early. The invitation was for dinner, if I'm not mistaken. Don't tell me you're hungry already. I got an anonymous call telling me our girlfriends were hanging out with other guys. Huh? Seems the caller was right. You sure seem pretty friendly with those guys. Well, if they're the ones you want to hang around with, there's nothing we can do about it. So, so long, girls. Looks like we went from too much company to none at all. Well, I didn't feel like spending an evening with that jealous bunch anyway. It's better if I don't see Brandon for a while. Come on, girls. We have to put this aside and focus on our mission. Fixing our house up? No, Stella. Finding the last fairy on Earth. Great, now what? Looks 
like another one of our enchanted pets was just adopted, and the control system is telling me that it's our mysterious friend again. It appears that someone is scooping up pets like crazy. Each time he uses a different name. But as you all know, we've got his address. Well, there's only one thing to do then. We have to pay someone a courtesy call. Looks pretty quiet for a house filled with fairy pets. If they harm those pets in any way, they're going to have to deal with us. Huh? Take cover! Someone's coming! Hey, that's the girl who works at the Fruity Music Bar. I think her name is Roxy. Let's follow her. I want to see where she's taking him. Come on! Did you see that? She definitely looks like she's hiding something. Hold on. We haven't got any evidence to prove that that girl has done anything wrong. <laughs> Freeze! Step away from those pets! What do you want? No tricks, you got it. We want an explanation. What are you doing with all those fairy pets? Talk! You could have been a bit more diplomatic, Stella. Who are you? And what do you want from me? Don't worry, R2. It's okay. They won't harm us. There's that magic energy again. Do you feel it? It's the same feeling we had when we first came to Gardenia. So it must have come from her, not Ogron's wizards. So you, you must be the last fairy on Earth, hmm? Nah, she doesn't look like a fairy. Fairies don't look like this. Fairies are elegant, kind, graceful. But above all, they don't hang out with rude dogs. Easy, R2, don't worry, they won't hurt us. They're just a little crazy. Huh? Uh, Roxy? I don't know where to start. This is going to sound pretty incredible, but please, just hear me out. You are not like all the other girls. You've got powers and skills that make you unique, special. You can bond with animals. You have the ability to read their thoughts and emotions. Roxy, you are a fairy. <gasps> Aren't you? Ah! to know that your life is in danger. Ogron and the wizards at the Black Circle are doing their best to try to capture you. You all clearly have problems, and I refuse to listen to any more of this. <sighs> well, we'd better follow her and try to talk to her again. I think we finally lost those Looney Tunes, R2. <laughs> Need some help? <laughs> no, no thanks, I'm fine. We, we were just leaving anyway. What's the hurry? We've heard so much about you. It's like we've known you forever. The last fairy on Earth. Not again. It's time. Open the black circle. <gasps> yes, cross the portal and hand over your power to us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get lost, you mangy muck! Huh? <laughs> 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 Looks to me like she doesn't want to go with you. Ah, the Winx. I was wondering when you'd grace us with your presence. What's going on? Who are these guys? They're fairy hunters, Roxy. 
And you're their prey. But we're gonna stop them. Winks and chanting. It's the same old song and dance with them. Speak for yourself, Obron. I kinda like it. How nice! I love a warm welcome! <laughs> Oceans of light! Yeah! This is about to get pretty ugly! Dragon Fury! <laughs> the wizards of the Black Circle are immune to your fairy powers! I'm sorry, you were saying something? Let's keep them at bay! Our priority is to save Roxy! <laughs> Come here, fairies. Come give us a nice big hug. Ah! Soundwave, attack! No! Morphic shield! You've got to do better than that, Layla. Are you okay, girls? Getting tired of fighting girls. Protective force field. <gasps> Each blow you deliver makes me stronger. <laughs> you led us to Roxy, so we're in your debt. For that, we'll let you live. Humiliated, defenseless, and on your knees, but alive. The girl! Where'd she go? Huh? This is crazy! I must be seeing things! I I'm not a fairy! Fairies don't exist! There's no such thing! Oh, fairies don't exist! Uh, they don't exist! Oh, yes, Roxy. Fairies do exist, and you're one of them. There's no need to cry. Roxy, open your heart! I don't think they heard you! <laughs> uh, fairies, I need you! Ah, so now you believe in fairies! Well done, Roxy! This is exactly what you have to do! Keep going! Have faith, Roxy! Yes! I believe! I believe in fairies! And I hope they wipe those smirks off your ugly faces! This is it! The Believix energy! Feel the energy, girls! Feel it! That's enough! This is the Black Circle! The portal!
Roxy, all you had to do was open your heart and believe in fairies. Hmm. We are stronger now. Let the battle begin! Are you ready, Winx? In the next episode, a new magic falls over Gardenia. Roxy believes in the Winx, and thanks to her, the six fairies discover their incredible Believix power. The only power which will help Earth people believe in fairies again.